Shalom. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between the ransom and the sacrifice. Your modern preacher will tell you that Jesus was a sacrifice, but Yeshua never called himself a sacrifice. He never said we are saved by his death or saved by his blood. He said, I have come as a ransom. You'll find that written in Mark 10.45. Now, a kidnapper steals somebody and demands a ransom. David wrote in Psalm 49.7, No one can by any means redeem his brother, nor will God accept a ransom for him. So ransoms are not paid to God. They're paid to evil people. God is all good. Now, the modern preacher has it all wrong. He says Jesus is a sacrifice. But the sacrifice and ransom are completely opposite transactions. In one, an evil person brings a lamb or a goat or a bull and offers it to the good, loving God. In the ransom, an innocent person, that would be Yeshua, offers his life as a living ransom to the evil one, to Satan. Here's the scenario as I understand it. Adam and Eve were sinless. Once they sinned, that gave Satan the power to hold them forever in the land of death. Now somewhere God and Satan made an agreement and Satan agreed that if a, God would present to him a sinless human being, he would let all those people that were righteous and God followers and God lovers out of the land of death. Now Satan was fully confident that first he'd caused everyone to sin, that was his main skill you might say and he'd never met a person who was sinless and if a sinless person came to him it wouldn't be very long before he could break that person through temptation now Yeshua came as a sinless person and he delivered himself to the powers of darkness in the garden of Gethsemane that's when the ransom was paid in the garden Satan took him then, tortured him, beat him, put a crown of thorns upon his head, impaled him upon a stake, hung him up in a tree to die, at every moment expecting Yeshua to either call down angels from heaven, which would have been a sin, for he was supposed to pay the ransom, or for him, like all other men who were being crucified, would curse God and die. Yeshua didn't either. He didn't sin. He fought temptation to the very end. And by doing so, Satan fell into an ancient trap. The trap was laid in Deuteronomy 27.25. It says, Cursed be he that takes a payment and then slays an innocent person. So the curse of God came down upon Satan. His power was broken. His dominion was broken. His ability to hold human beings in the land of death were broken. So that on the resurrection day, when Yahshua calls forth the little flock from out of the land of death, Satan will not be able to hold them. They will go forth to live forever with Yeshua, those who have loved him and followed him. So I, I want you to have this very clearly in your mind. Yeshua never called himself a lamb. He called himself a shepherd. He didn't identify with the goat of the atonement. He didn't die during the time of the atonement, nor did he identify with the goats. He said the goats will go into the fire. So Yeshua the shepherd gave himself as a living prisoner exchange. He knew Satan was going to kill him. He knew Satan was a murderer and a liar from the beginning. In fact, he was counting on it because the moment Satan would kill him, if he didn't sin, the curse of God would fall upon Satan. His power would be broken forever. And all those who were trapped in the land of death, who were God-fearing, God-loving people, would be set free 
to live forever with the Father. So Yahshua was our Savior in two ways. One, he paid the ransom in the garden. And two, he won the victory on the cross over Satan so that you and I could have our sins forgiven, not by his death, not by his blood, but by his word. He sent his word and he healed us. And his word said, to have your sins forgiven, forgive others and your heavenly Father will forgive you. If you don't forgive others, your heavenly Father cannot forgive you. Much love forgives many sins. If you ask, you will be you will receive. So please keep the difference between the sacrifice and the ransom clear because otherwise you have a very strange God who practices human sacrifice or a very strange Messiah who engages in human sacrifice. Neither of those are true. Yeshua was the most courageous, innocent, sinless man that ever lived. He's our elder brother. And he didn't die instead of us. He died ahead of us. Shalom. Blessed are the peacemakers, children of the Most High. He rules the universe, the earth, the stars, and the sky. The earth, the stars, and the sky. The earth, the stars, and the sky.